ASMR, where I ramble to you about entertainment, positivity, and lifestyle. Today's video is going to be a ramble about a uh, director's monitor and how it works. Um, I basically got this from a friend, and I'm actually returning it like in a few hours, so I just thought I'd do a video just in case you were always curious on how it worked and also just so I can remember in the future how it works as well because this is my first time ever using one um I have right over here a lot of stuff one sec I have the director's monitor right I have the director's monitor right here right next to me and if you don't know what a director's monitor is it's as it says, a monitor that the director uses when on um, set. So later on, um, I think in another video, I'll throw some of the behind the scenes photos and you'll see me actually holding this. And I I hold it like this. Um, I wanna make sure, you, ooh, you can't see me. I hold it like, like this with two hands. This is what it looks like it's probably yeah you can see yourself it's a reflection but you basically hold it like this and then the screen is the monitor of the camera and the reason why this is nice is because um there are a lot of shots um where i can't be behind camera and i don't want to be and i can just be off to the side and watch so i don't get in the in miles or the camera's uh, way but so that's what this is and now i'm going to talk about kind of like how you use it so we'll go from the bottom so the nice thing about this and i didn't realize it until the end is that it actually has some mounts at the bottom so for most of my production i was actually holding it with two hands and that doesn't sound like it's a lot but set life here we were filming for like 12 hours each day and by the end of the fourth day my back was killing me it was just insane because you're always like hunched over so the nice thing about this is um my friends so Thank you, John, who is a new recent friend in LA. We actually, a little ramble about him, we actually met at a party. I don't really go to parties. I went to this party and we chatted and then we got coffee and then, yeah, we're like new friends and he, this is his, and he lent it to me for free because of my short film. So thank you, John, if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, it has a mount on it at the bottom so you, you can stand up. So you don't have to hold it but throughout the production too if i didn't have a stand i actually had other people hold it for me um yeah so that's cool and then the way that um this gets connected to the camera is actually something called this a terror deck i know it's upside down but it says a terror deck that and i didn't know what this is but basically what you do is you connect this i think you connect this there's a lot of different pieces but you connect one terror deck to the actual camera itself and then it uses a frequency to connect to this monitor where, if you see on this, um, <laughs> I'm getting all tangled up. <laughs> where you see on this, at the back, there is, this is actually another tarot deck, and it, it is connected to this, which is connected to this, the monitor, and that feeds whatever's coming from the camera um, to this, and then to this monitor, so I can watch, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've never used a tarot deck before. I, and this is my first production using one and learning what it is. Um, they use it for like first ACs, which is, um, per someone on camera that is usually pulling focus. So you'll have the DP or you'll have a camera op who's doing the camera. DP is usually just like watching, making sure is in charge of all the camera op and then there's a first AC which is in charge of focusing so they will literally have a tarot deck 
on another monitor and just doing focus, but we didn't have that. We had just one person, special miles, doing it all. But yeah, I got this monitor for that. And so the way you turn it on is there's actually all of these batteries, batteries, batteries. <laughs> batteries are really big and we have something that we charge them in I might take a video I hopefully will but we charge them in this thing and oops sorry if that's loud it's a little chaotic over here <laughs> but the way that you can tell if it's on or has batteries on the side you see here and it will go green and that's how much battery you have and then what you do is I'm gonna try this too with one hand, but you hold this like this, and then you slide this. Oops. <laughs> it's hard with one hand. Oh, it's also my bad. It's upside down. <laughs> there you go. And now you can actually see that says Teradek. <laughs> but what you do is you take the battery. And then there's a little button at the top, which I don't know if you can see, but you click it, and then it will. It will turn on, which is pretty cool. And I think this one says that there's no link, but there usually will be a link to another, um, to another camera, and that's what you would do, which is pretty cool. So that's that. And then um, my friend gave me all these boxes. So I think for Miles, he had his own receiver, but um, I believe this is a receiver. So I believe, yeah, there's these holes right here and you connect them to your, uh, to your camera. There's a USB, there's just all of these different things in HDMI. And then what you do is, and yeah, John gave me like all these little batteries, but you basically just, um, let me see you do it. You basically just put it in and then you connect this to a stand and then it will relay all the information over to the other Teradek. Um, so the pros of this is that you don't need to be near camera. The cons are, it takes a little bit to set up, not too bad, but then also another con is you, you can't be super far away um it is a frequency but like you can't be like you can't have a door in between you i tried doing that and it gets really fuzzy um so yeah and yeah so that is the teradek and that is the direct monitor and yeah I just wanted to do a little quick ramble about that because I thought it was really cool when I was using it and it's something I never learned about or knew about and I think it's cool that you have the transmitter you have the transmitter which is the Teradek you have the battery monitor and then basically this whole setup was designed by my friend John I think you could do multiple setups like they don't need the handles you could like have it as something else but but yeah, he lent it to me for free, which is great. And um, yeah, just a good friend. So yeah, that's this is a really short video, but that is my ramble about a director's monitor. I hope you found it interesting as I did. And uh, yeah, let me know what surprised you the most about this director's monitor. I guess like, yeah, like I never knew about Teradex. I didn't know that that's how that works. Um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I thought it was pretty cool, so I wanted to share it with you guys before I gave it back. And yeah, if no one's told you today, you are so special and so important in this world. And I hope you're treating yourself really well. 
I know life can be so hard sometimes, but you deserve the best. And um, yeah, if you could give this video a thumbs up, a comment, even subscribe if you're wanting to join our family, that'd be really awesome. Um, yeah, and thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay.